Hello everybody, my name is Flanker. Today I'm going to teach you how to install the Blender Bundles version 4.1. After you've purchased your bundle, you want to head over to your account page, found here. When you're in your accounts page, you want to head to your downloads tab. And this is the page where you'll find all your purchases that you've made on flanker.com. Now you want to scroll down this page until you find your bundle. In this case, we're going to install the Texture Bundles Pro. For each available download, there'll be a download button. So you want to download all the files that come with the bundle. Once you've downloaded all the files from the add-on, you want to go to the next step, which is installing Blender. Head over to blender.org. You don't want to download 4.5, you want an older version. So head to Downloads, go to Previous Versions, download any Blender, then on this page you'll see a list of all the previous versions. And then look for 4.3. Then you want to find the latest 4.3 build for your operating system. For me, it's 4.32 on Windows. So while this is downloading, I'll explain to you why we use Blender 4.3. It's because Blender updated their API, which the, the add-on uses, to block the usage of decals. So you can't modify the paintbrushes anymore. So with um, 4.5, the decal brush, which was where you paint your logos and your, your images and stuff onto your textures, like say if you had like a an Adidas logo you wanted to paint onto your jacket, you won't be able to do that in the latest version of Blender. So it's highly recommended to use 4.3 until either Blender changes the way they do it or I can find a workaround, which I am actively working towards. I'm not, I really want it to work because obviously the latest version of software is normally the best. So I'm not sure what's new in Blender 4.5, but um, I really would like to use it. So for now, while this video is up, you want to use a 4.3 version, which is what we're installing right now. As you can see, we're at the end of the installation screen, and I'm just going to um, uncheck this because I don't want to continue to another web page. So now we want to launch Blender. It should be in your recent installs. And once this is loaded, I'm just going to continue with the splash screen to get rid of this. And then I'm going to click General. So now we're in Blender, let's install the add-on. You want to go back to your downloads and find the bundle zip and drag it into Blender. And on this screen, you want to leave it all as default and even this top bit, target default, and then click OK. Once that's done, go to your Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and then Extend Flanker Texture Tools. And here you'll be able to put your license key, which I forgot to copy. So I'm going to head over to flanker.com and then copy my license key. So once you have that copied, go back to Blender. And you'll see you can't right click and paste, so you have to control V and then you just activate your license. This could take a while for the first time it's activated, but once it is activated, you'll see the version of your tools and if you're in the beta program or if you have developer access. So you can close that now. The next thing to do is check your textures are up to date. So you click on this little tiny arrow you see in the top right corner, and go down to Daisy Textures. And this is the old texture, so you want to click this download button, it will download the latest version of the base texture from the server. And in just a second, you'll see this has changed, and you'll now have the latest version of the base texture. This also comes with a preset amount of decals, which will indeed work because this is 4.3. And the next step now will be to install the node group. So this one installs differently. We're going to want to extract this zip file. I'm going to keep it in the default location because we're moving this anyway. You can close this folder that pops up. And we want to cut this, so when we paste it, it deletes it from our downloads. So you right click and click on the scissors, cut. Then we're going to want to place this somewhere where we're not going to accidentally delete it. So I'm going to go to my documents and create a new folder. I'm going to name this one Blender Assets. Now we want to go into here and paste the folder we just copied. So now that's safe, we're not going to accidentally delete our documents folder. We're going to go back into Blender. We're going to go to Edit, Preferences. We're going to find File Paths on the left side. Under Asset Libraries, click on the plus icon and navigate to the Blender Assets. Go inside the Node group and click Add Asset Library. Now this is set. You should be able to close this by default, but just to make sure, go here and go to Save Preferences, and then you can close it safely. So now to see your assets, you want to go to your Shading tab, and you want to click on this little arrow again on the left side, and I'm, I'm in the wrong window. So up here in the folder icon, change, click on the folder icon, and scroll down to the Asset Browser, and again click on this arrow. Then you want to click on the All Libraries, Daisy Texture Node Group. And this is where you'll find all the nodes, like the Daisy Texture node, which replaces the principled BSDF. And you do this when you want to um, make your own textures, but we do have some preset textures set up. If you go to the Textures tab on the flanker.com website, 
you'll see down here we have loads of textures you can just click to download. But I'm going to download a pack. So I've got a Black Ops 6. I can download the Camos Texture Pack. This is like a collection of textures all in one zip. So once this is downloaded, you'll see that you do have a zip file. And to install this one, you need to do it from inside of Blender. So go to Blender, and up in this 3D viewport window, you click on this little arrow gun, Daisy Textures, and Install Textures. And you just find that zip file, and give it a moment, let it install, because there's quite a few textures in this pack. But there we go, you have your Black Ops 6, and then you can click on these, and you can select any of these ones to apply to your model. So let me show you real quick, I'll click these bananas, apply the material, and then you can modify these as well if you want to. Down here, press the home key on your keyboard to zoom in. And you can just scale these up as much as you want. And that's it, everything is installed. And that's the end of the video. If this has helped you at all, please hit that like button and make sure you subscribe for other tutorials on the tools.